This tank has 78 very expensive baby fish, one of which is a legendary, so it's gonna grow up to be worth millions. But then they also have this tank now that's full of 60 very rare fish. It doesn't have any legendaries, but it does have two epics and some painted rares. So all we need to do now is sit back, relax, and let the money roll in while the fish grow up to earn even more money. We're currently earning about 5 cents per second, so let's go back in 24 hours and restart this tank. I decided to check in a few minutes later. We've already made $300 and we got some grown-up fish we could sell for lots of money. I'd rather take the $465 now than the $7 it's gonna earn me by tomorrow anyway. Tomorrow our earnings are gonna go bananas because even these basic epic fish are $3,600 a day. And that's not even considering our other tank where we got gold and red tail catfish growing up. Ah, because that is gold and it's worth $5,000 by itself. So we'll definitely take that. All right, well, we earned $10,000 in this past few minutes and we need to top up our tanks. Five fish for $1,000, we did get a painted rare. Uh, this tank definitely needs some fish, so we're gonna load it up and hopefully we get something amazing. So far, a lot of plain fish, but they're all worth money. There's a legendary, that's huge. Okay, back to waiting, see you tomorrow. While we were away, we earned $4,000 and a whole bunch of fish grew up, including a painted axolotl. Some of these have gotta be worth a lot. There's a bunch of salmon down here. They only earn $120 a day, but they sell for $500. And they're just outright delicious. The axolotls are worth $700. They only earn $84 every day. The painted variety is just double that. It is jet black. Our money is definitely going up quicker though because of all of our new fish. So we're going to work our way through selling everything that's not making like $1,000 a day in earnings and buying hopefully better ones. Now the painted rainbow trout, that sells for $1,000. It only gets $113 a day, so it's going to go. So after cleansing the first tank, we got another 50 capacity. So we can spend another $10,000 on another 10 packs of fish. And on the very first one, we got an epic. We're going to open all of these and hopefully find something more amazing. Any of those epics are worth a lot of money. And our other tank that only has a capacity of 60, we have a golden mud skipper. So that's worth $205 a day or $5,000 now, which I'll take. This one also has a painted rare that's very close to leveling up and I just wanted to push it through. Painted ghost nightfish. See, that's earning $555 a day, so that gets to stay. If any fish wants a place in my tank, it's got to earn some money. And there's a few of these fish that are just about ready to grow. Okay, it was the rest of the nightfish. These aren't the uh, rare variety, but these are regular nightfish. $300 a day, they get to stay. But we also made another $45,000 with that, so let's restock the tank. And again, we got another epic. We got a few epics. I didn't see any legendaries, but epics are worth tons of money themselves. Then I'm actually going to spend $20,000 upgrading this tank. So now it has a capacity of 80, so we get an extra 23 fish out of this. It's just a numbers game. We need to fit as many fish as possible in here. Because now we have like 20 epics waiting to grow up. And once they do, we're going to be making millions of dollars. So we'll come check on these guys again tomorrow. Okay, obviously this is pretty addicting because I can't wait a full day. It's been some hours, we have $15,000 in new fish. While we were gone, we earned $2,200, which means we were rich before because we have 15 in total. Aside from all of our beautiful fish, we're making well over 10 cents a second now, so all these fish popping up are really helping us along. So let's go ahead and weed out the bad ones again. Less than $100 today, you're not staying in my tank. 56.52 kind of hurts to lose, but I don't feel pain anyway. I'm literally drinking molten coffee as we speak. Some of these are laid out in kind of weird places, like I have to scroll up to find a uh, less valuable fish. That's due to my own style of sorting these, of course. I'm just making it harder than I have to for myself like usual. $256 a day. These can stay for now. That's just easy money for a while. And the bullhead catfish that are these pretty looking ones, $370 a day. And the tiger trout. It's like a rainbow fish, $513 a day. In a perfect world, I would trade them all in for epics because epics earn thousands of dollars a day but they take their time to grow let's check our other tank we got a painted fire eel so i'd wager that's worth a few dollars and a painted red tail catfish the painted rare fire eel earns 770 dollars a day it's worth 1600 so it, in two days it pays for itself this tank definitely has some catching up to do but it is the newer tank so it's got younger fish eventually all of these will definitely grow up and then we'll be making a fortune so i've sold all of the weakest fish we still have forty thousand dollars the money's still going up rapidly we need to buy some more so we got six packages of fish and we did get a legendary that takes six days if i don't feed it i will start feeding these morons at some point just to get them going along and we need to do the same for the original tank we got another african butterfly fish i know those are very very expensive and valuable themselves 
actually we got two of those. Those only take two days to grow so for feeding them probably like a quarter of that. So the original tank has two legendaries waiting to grow while the new tank only has one. So when we go to do the feeding we're going to focus on legendaries because they're going to be the most valuable by a long shot. Back to the waiting game in this week long video. Many hours later we have an assassin snail. That sounds like fun. We also earned $7,300 so we have 32000 in total plus a whole bunch of fish. The assassin snail actually earns $624 per day so it gets to stay. And look at our money, we're up to like 20 cents a second now, but that means it's time for the cleansing. We still have a lot of common fish in here. Common fish have no place in my world. So after cleaning out the boring fish, we have $42,000 and room for 19 more fish. We do want to buy 20 new ones though, so we're going to have to sacrifice the sockeye. Then in our other tank, we have a painted assassin snail and a painted tequila split fin. Long story short, we're going to sell most of them. So after selling the boring fish, $52,000, we have room for 20 more. And for those, we're going to get all of these, none of which are particularly exciting except for you. I don't know what always happens here. I had 60 fish, I added 20, somehow we have 76. Maybe I'm more tired than I think I am, okay? We bought... Oh, there's only four per pack. I get it now. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It, it is really tough really being this dumb. So we get five packs of fish, which include everything you see here. There's another epic fish, but no legendaries. Our two existing legendaries in our original tank need a little bit of help. They're only a fifth of the way grown up. So I'm going to force feed this entire tank for the next 12 hours. This should get us some progress. Plus we already have $42,000, so we'll wake up to some money. Many, many hours later, look at all the big fish we have. And our money's getting close to 50 cents per second. While we were waiting, whatever these things are grew up, they earn a thousand dollars a day by themselves. And in the other tank, we have a bunch of grown up fish as well, including one big assassin snail. I don't think we got anything new in this tank, but we do have a lot of fish, so let's cleanse and flip. And this tank also does have one of these that's almost grown up, so if we feed it just a little bit, that's an extra thousand dollars a day. So after selling the useless morons of this tank, we have 30 spaces and seventy three thousand dollars. So we just once again hope for some very lucky rares or epics or legendaries, of which we found literally zero. I also didn't realize our original tank has a painted version of this thing which actually earns $2,000 a day so that's one of my highest earning fish currently. And after selling the boring fish here we have 24 spaces and that works out perfectly because we can fill that efficiently. And we definitely got luckier on this side there's a new legendary and new epic plus a painted rare axolotl. Uh, these two themselves would be worth so much money but look how long they take if I'm not feeding them. Many hours of force feeding later and I think we have piranhas. We actually have quite a few of them. They earn $1,500 a day but look at our money go up. At this point it's got to be close to $2 per second so that feels good. Tank number one is feeling very full of very valuable fish. And this new legendary we have, Arowana, $8,300 a day and it looks very cool if you can see it amongst the other morons. Oh yeah, it's down here in the corner. There was another legendary fish, I can't quite pick it out of the crowd. It's the Arapaima, and there's actually two of those. Each of those earns $15,000 a day. That's a lot of money. Oh yeah, I was sitting right here the whole time. $15,000 every day. So with the amount of money some of these are making now, I'm going to sell these lower class legendaries. They're only making $116 a day, so they've got to go. And then it's time to cleanse. I think if anything's making less than $300 a day, it's going to go. That gave us some easy instant money, and we can afford to buy a lot more fish for this tank again and we were lucky enough to get another legendary and two epics okay and two legendaries two legendaries two epics i didn't even notice the sturgeon down here in the bottom that's six thousand dollars a day now we got to do the same thing for tank number two selling those put us up to 150 grand but we've got some fish to buy which took us down to 143 grand but at the rate we make money we'll be back there in no time plus we get another epic so that pays for itself in a hurry so we'll go back to force feeding these morons for the next 12 hours and see what we got and many many hours of Force feeding these morons later, we have $226,000 and the money is still going up. And there's so many different fish to look at, but we're going to start selling them. It seems so strange that we can still grow a fish that only makes us $14 a day. But here's the exciting part now that we've sold 30 fish. For the first time, we can afford wheat fellas. That's a $200,000 pack. And we need a saltwater tank. Which in itself costs $300,000, so it's still gonna be a minute. So let's check on our other tank for now and do the same thing. It's still got uh, several fish actually that need to grow up, but those will be worth a lot of money once they do. Well, after selling some of the more boring fish, that actually put us up to $260,000, so money really isn't as hard to make as you'd think anymore. But in order to get the new pack of fish, we still need $500,000, so we're a little over halfway there. 
So for now, we're going to go back to buying some of the $1,000 packs and making them grow. But in these packs, I did get a painted legendary. It's a painted one of these, so once it's done, it should be worth double this, so it's going to be a huge earner. But I'm also going to start to get really aggressive with this, and anything that makes less than $1,000 a day, I'm going to sell just for the easy money, and then we're going to get a quick turnover for insta money now. While we did lose some passive income, we're still making plenty, and plus we have room for 25 new fish that we could probably also turn around and sell again fairly quickly. And we're getting a lot of legendaries. There's even a golden common there, so that's going to be sold for lots of money all instantly too. Let the force feeding commence. So we'll check back in many more hours again. I've also realized my feeding strategy is a little inefficient because a lot of the big fish are eating the bait, but I could probably move most of my adult fish to the other tank and the young fish to this tank. That will serve to somewhat mitigate that problem. So all of my very expensive legendary fish are going to tank too, and then all of my boring little ungrown fish are going to the first tank where they're going to be force fed for profit. Okay, surprisingly that's actually worked out pretty well so far. Normally my uh, stupid ideas don't. And when I can't find them on the list, I can manually find them out here in the water and send them over for a better life. So I have 99 fish waiting to grow. By the time they do, that should be worth $100,000 profit because they sell for about $1,000. Plus, we have $285,000 now. And I actually do have some real estate over in this tank, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a few more packs just to fill that out. We can have a few more fish growing in this tank. They won't be force-fed, but they will be growing the natural way, at least. But now with the amount of food these morons can consume, uh, some of them will grow up very quickly. Like, it's only been a few seconds, and we've already got two fish growing up. So that's an easy, probably $2,000 profit. Okay, it's $1,000. But that's still $1,000 we didn't just have. At the rate these are going, I'm actually going to have to sit here for a little bit and just sell the ones that do grow up in a hurry just so they don't steal food from the little ones and we're just going to keep doing this until we have our stupid money but we can already afford to buy another two packs one of which uh, is an uh, epic this current active strategy actually works kind of great because we can really quickly turn around these fish for a generously healthy profit and that also weeds out the ordinary fish right away so that we can hopefully roll and get more epic and legendary fish because before you know it we'll have only epics or higher in this tank just look at the numbers we already have a lot those are legendaries these are epics and that list grows a long ways down. I've already managed to make our golden sockeye salmon grow up. I was hoping it would be worth more, but I'll actually take the $5,000 now over five days worth of profit. And look at that, another legendary. We've had several since the last time we looked. Some hours later, we have a lot of big valuable fish. And so far, we only have one legendary that's grown up. But we also have a sturgeon that's earning us $12,000 a day and our money is going up quicker than ever. And tank number two, where most of our valuable fish are, we grew up some uh, very basic ones too, so we're going to sell those for instant money. That's cleared up 17 spots, so we're going to move 17 valuable fish from tank one into tank two. After doing all that, we have $406,000. So we're going to buy our first saltwater tank that's going to need up $300,000. And comes with zero fish, so it's currently a very lonely tank. But then our tank full of little fish still has uh, 80 capacity left, so we're going to fill it up with fish and keep flipping them. We need to make $200,000 to buy the next tier of fish, so we have 113,000 to go. Luckily I can buy all sorts of fish at once, there's another legendary, there's a few epics. Wow, look at all the epics in that pack. There's four epics and a legendary in a row somehow. And then I go back to my force feeding strategy. And it really doesn't take long at all before these start to grow up, some of them are worth a thousand dollars by themselves. A whole lot of force feeding later and selling some fish, we have two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. Which means we can finally put something in our saltwater tank, and this has taken a long time to get to refellas. I really hope there's a legendary in here because these are really expensive to get a hold of. Oh good, they only take 8 or 16 hours to grow. But aren't they adorable? They're going to be subject to an awful lot of force feeding. And because there's only four of them in this tank, every once in a while they're just going to swoop by and eat like a million experience in one single bite. Who's going to get it? Okay, that guy just got a whole bunch and that didn't even move his thing. So we're going to be here for a minute. Okay, new plan. I'm going to stock the zebra fish here because he doesn't have a lot of competition anyway. If I just force feed him in particular, we can actually do this in only probably 15 minutes. I've lured him separately into the corner just so I can feed him without the other idiots getting in the way. It's actually going somewhat quick. So a little bit of careful force feeding later, we have our first reef fish. It's a spotted ribbon fish, which earns $15,000 a day, which is insane for a common fish, but it's also worth $93,000 to sell. I've also realized for the first time that large fish can't actually eat the food. 
so my early strategy wasn't necessary, although it was fun. We got a fish up to about 58,000 experience, so that means it's about to pop into adult form. It's one of these. It looks like a fireball, so that's fun. More importantly, it earns $50,000 a day and is worth $152,000 where I to sell it right now, but our money is uh, going noticeably faster now. So we'll do the same thing and force feed this little guy up to 58,000 experience and he'll also pop into adult form and be worth a fortune. You know, the longer I go ahead and force feed fish like this, the more fun it gets let me tell you. But our new fish is about to pop. We have a flame angel fish. Doesn't make the same as the other fish, but it still makes 33,000 a day. 101,000 if I was a seller right now. And our money is definitely going noticeably quicker at this point. A little force feeding later, this should be our most expensive fish yet, and it is. It's a moray eel. It's going to get us $80,000 a day, or I could sell it for 160,000. Every time one of these idiots hits adulthood, our income goes up a lot. Well, since this one only earns 33,000 a day, it's going to go. And this one only earns 15, thousand so it's gonna go but that already gives us the income to buy another set of these guys and hopefully we get some uh, absolute painted legendaries or something we did get a rare, we got some commons and a painted common. That only takes 30 minutes. Well, what do you know? We can actually grow this one up in a hurry and turn it around for a really quick profit. If we force feed it, it literally takes like a minute, and I've certainly got time for that. A painted clownfish. It earns almost no money, but it sells for almost $200,000, which is insane. So, obviously, we don't want $1,700. Just give me the money. Uh, this other one, I even accidentally fed 33% uh, of the way to adulthood, so we'll just go ahead and grow it up too. And it's an exquisite fairy... Rase. Pronunciation may vary by whether or not you understand what you're saying. So we're going to go ahead and sell this because it's worth 86000 but only earn, earn me $1,800 a day. And another fish, Copper Band Butterfly Fish. Its earnings are terrible, but it's sell no money. I'll take it. We have almost $400,000 now. I didn't realize how much money we're making. So we'll buy another set of morons. Hopefully something good in here. Well, we got some that are reasonably quick and some that are uh, slow. Next up, Blue Tang. $3,500 a day. We don't want, but we will take its 90 grand. And that means we can buy even more fish. That one's going to take 20 hours. It's a rare, so it's going to be valuable too. So we'll check back in like a thousand hours and uh, see how much money we have. We'll be millionaires before you know it.